Hey everyone, it's James here from the Dev Genie Academy, and in this week's episode, we're going back to the terrain rendering by looking at some terrain blend maps. This will allow us to apply one terrain, but have up to four different textures applied to it. There is a maximum limit on this, but going forward in future episodes, we will show you how to get terrain rendered with multiple textures in an unlimited variety, basically. So first of all, in our terrain package, let's create a terrain texture. This needs to be isolated from our current texture class, but at the moment it'll be pretty much exactly the same. So it just has an integer for the ID and a getter for the ID itself. We can also create a blend map terrain, and in there we have a terrain texture of a background, the red texture, the green texture, and the blue texture. So this red, green, and blue texture is the three different textures we can have, plus the fourth with the background. So we have a constructor with all of those values and getters for all four of those values as well. Next up, we need to go into our terrain, in our terrain class, and have a private terrain texture, which is going to be the blend map itself. There we go, blend map. And we also need a private blend map terrain, which is those four textures that we can use to apply to the terrain. So that's a blend, blend map terrain itself. So in the constructor, after we've applied the material, we can add the two new variables, which is the blend map terrain, which is the blend map terrain, and also the terrain texture of the blend map itself. And obviously we just need to add those in to the constructor. Like uh, this dot blend map equals blend map, and this dot blend map terrain equals blend map terrain. There we go. So is there anything else we need to do in here? I think all we need to do now is at the bottom, we just need to do getters for those two uh, those two new variables. Um, getters. Yeah, there we go. So just add those as getters, and that should be everything we need to do in the terrain. So going into the test game class, before we fix those two errors for the terrain instances, we need to first of all create instances of the blend map texture and the terrain texture as well. So first of all, before the terrains, there we do a terrain texture of the blend, sorry, the terrain texture of the background texture, and that's going to be a new terrain texture of loader dot load texture, and its textures. What files have we got? I've got a terrain file. We'll use that one, and that'll be the background. So that means everything by default will be the terrain. We can then create a red texture, a green texture, and a blue texture. Um, and finally we need to have that blend map texture as well, or just the blend map. So what files have I got here? Uh, for the red texture, we've got the terrain there. For the red texture we can put the flowers in there. Um, I've also got a stone PNG. Um, I've got a dirt PNG and also a blend map PNG, which I haven't got yet. We'll go through that and we'll create that one together. So in the terrain itself, um, we need to create that blend map terrain now, which is the blend map of new blend map terrain, and that just has the blend, uh, sorry, the background texture, the red texture, the green texture, and the blue texture. And in the textures now, we can go in here and we can fix those. So if we take out that material, and we need to do a new vector 3f. This is the ambient color we're setting here. Of just 0 0.0, 0 0.0 for all four points, and 1.0f for the reflectance, and we need to do uh, blend map terrain, blend map, and I'll just enter that down so we can just see that a little bit better. There we go. Uh, actually do it from the material. There you go, that's better. And then we can take out that last 0 0.1. There we go. And we need to do pretty much the same thing in the second terrain. So instead of having material here, we have a material ambient light with a reflectance. So it's 0, 0.0 again for everything, because we're not going to be using the lighting. Uh, make sure I put a cast that to a float. There we go and 1.0 for the reflectance and we can pass in the blend map terrain and the blend map itself 
and again let's just put that on a new line after the new material that's it so the only thing we need to do now is in the terrain renderer instead of having a texture sampler here we need to have a background texture we need to have that one for the red, the green, blue and the blend map so red, green and blue let's just change those names there we are and we need, finally we need the one for the blend map itself there we go and that means that we need to change it in the bind method as well so we don't need to use any of this but we're gonna get rid of it for now and we need to move it into the prepare because the prepare is passing in the terrain not just the model so we need to pass cast this as a terrain and just do it terrain dot get texture dot id for the first texture point and we can make that four more times make sure you change that texture from zero to one two three and four accordingly there we go and the first one will be get blend map terrain dot get background texture and if we just change that to get blend map terrain of get red texture dot get id uh, get green texture id and finally get blue texture id that's it and then in this one we need to get the blend map itself so just get blend map dot id and we can get rid of that set uniform for the texture sampler um, back in the bind method itself we can do the set uniforms here so we can say the background texture is parameter 0 let me go make sure I spell it right uh, the red texture is going to be value of 1 and make sure I get rid of that empty space uh, red, green and blue and blend map as well for that one and get rid of those empty spaces just because that won't resolve that way that's it and make sure we do red to 1, green to 2, blue to 3 and blend map to 4 the material can still be passed in as normal now into the terrain vertex make sure you take out the texture coordinate divided by 2.5 because we don't need that anymore in the terrain fragment we need to pass in those new uniforms we've just created and uh, let me just try and find it uh, there's texture sampler um, where is it there it is so delete that uniform there for the texture sampler and we need to create a uniform sampler 2d there we go we need to call this uh, the background texture and we need another one for the red green and blue texture so red texture let's just copy that one two more times uh, actually four more times for the blend map so there we go blend map uh, blue texture green texture okay so now we've done that in the setup colors function if the material has a texture of one we need to create the blend map color so this is just basically the texture of a texture itself it's blend map and the frag sorry the texture coordinate because we're passing it as texture coordinate the background texture amount uh, that needs to equal to one negative blend map color of red blend map color of green and blend map color of blue so all of those colors added together negative one gives you the texture amount and um, we then do a vector two of the tiled coordinates and that needs to equal the texture coordinate multiplied by 80 we might need to change that multiply by 80 later on but we'll just see how it looks right now for 80 uh, the background texture color is texture of uh, background of course background color or background texture and the tiled coordinates that needs to be multiplied by the blend of the background the background texture amount let me just change that to make it a little bit better there we go i mean to do that a few more times just for each individual texture so we've got the red texture amount the green texture amount uh, the blue texture amount that's it and we can get rid of that last one because i've copied too many so just make sure you go through and change them to the correct corresponding value so red texture green texture and blue texture 
Okay, so the background for the for the red it needs to be blend map color dot R, and the same for the green blend map color dot G, and blend map color dot B. So what we're basically doing here is we're working out for each tiled coordinate, we're working out how much of each corresponding color is used. So we can add either 100% red or 80% red and 20% green, just how much of it's been blended together. So the ambient C now becomes the background texture color uh, plus the red texture color, the green texture color and the blue texture color, all of those added together. And I've changed the tile coordinates to be uh, divided by 2.5F, which is what we had before. And we also need to make sure that it's material dot has texture equals zero, because again, we're not adding a texture into the material anymore. We're adding a texture into the texture itself, into the blend map. Um, so these textures that we've added here, we've got the flowers and the terrain. I've also got this stone one here, which is, as you can see, it's to a power of two. And I've got the dirt one here as well, which again is just the power of two. These are just quick, simple Google searches, so you might want to go on ahead and find your own. But if we now look at the blend map, obviously like we said we need to go through this and create this together. So if you go into paint, and first of all, make sure again the size of the terrain is the power of two. What you want to do first of all is just make the entire color, the entire color of it, to be black. And Instead of using the red, green, and blue values you can see at the top here, we need to change these. So, for example, if we go in and let's just put a little bit of red somewhere. There we go. This value here isn't actually true fully red. I think it's like 230 or something like that. So, what we want to do is we want to go into the color picker side of it and make sure that we are selecting an entirety of red. I'm just going to fill this in a little bit and I'll show you the difference between the two. Uh, so as you can see the green here as well. If I fill that in all green. So again that's not true, 100% green. If we do the colour pick just to get that red and go into here. So as you can see the, the colour itself isn't 100% red. So if we change that to be 255010 and then just fill that in to be true red. Um, if we then go to 255 for the green, let's just add some, this was the stone I think it was. Yeah, this was the, sorry, we can do a path with this kind of thing. So if you just do a, a path from one side of the screen to the other, looping round, looping around again, a few more forks in the road, and uh, we'll do one over this side as well, and one that goes sort of around that red texture, which is the flowers. So at the moment, everything in black is going to have the standard grass texture. Everything in red is going to have the flowers. And everything in blue, we're going to have like a dirt. So we're going to have like the dirt road interacting with the stone one. A bit more precision though would help, would be nice. There we go. That's better. And it can sort of interlock, interlock with each other and sort of blend into it. But it doesn't really need to be anything dramatic at this moment because we're just testing it. Yeah, that'll do. A little bit more just to match them, line them back up. There we are. Um, what we can also do is inside of this segment here, we can just put that full red, not green. There we go. Red can go in there. And just fill in those gaps. Um, and we can fill in the green one in another section as well. Just goes through those flowers. And blue. Let's just do the blue going across this stone road as well, just to see the blending of all three colours together. And on the bottom side as well. So now if you save that as a blend map file, just call it blend map, or the same as what you've called your blend map texture in the code. We can now go ahead and run this. And hopefully we should see the textures as we want them to see. And I've got an error, so if I go ahead and fix that. Ah, okay, so in the generate terrain function, we did do multiplied by size for the texture coordinates. It wasn't so bad in the last episode because we were using a single texture, but now we're using multiple ones. So if you run that now, you should be able to see that the textures are being blended together. And if you go down the seam of the two textures, we can see they are getting blended quite nicely between the dirt and the and the road, the stone road. 
and everything else seems to be rendering quite nicely as well. So that's it for it. That's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.